Hello guys and today I'm gonna talk about a cloud formation template and we will discuss the metadata section. So if you um, go to Google and actually you will search like cloud formation metadata, the first URL will be uh, the link to official AWS documentation. And the metadata itself actually is optional and um, that's actually provide information about your template. So in metadata section, there is three uh, additional parameters uh, which we can use. And actually I never use this cloud authentication and cloud init. I just know that init, for example, it's needed to uh, include metadata into EC2 instance when a uh, cloud formation init script is running. And the cloud formation notification is specify credentials for this unit resource. I mean, it's kind of a um, um, very specific case. Maybe um, I never use this, so, but I, uh, I used to work with cloud formation interface. And as you see from interface side, that mean how your cloud formation template will look when you start to deploy it. And basically if we uh, switch to the code, so we will uh, write down the template from scratch and uh, i will show you in details how how it looks so first of all let's um, start from the beginning let's type start and um, cloud formation version we have only 2010.0909 description that's um, clear right cloud in action metadata Okay, metadata we will work here, parameters we will need to have parameters and maybe okay outputs we don't need, condition mapping not needed, and obvious we need resources, right? So because at least one resource has to be in the template, otherwise it will be not a valid template. So if you can see on the structure again, so this is all possible um, sections which we have in YAML and cloud formation and the only resources is required all other it's optional okay so uh, yeah let's start work with um, met metadata part and uh, let's type AWS cloud formation interface so um, now we want to create the groups of our interface so in groups it will be like uh, for example in, inside of our templates we will have two resources we will have EC2 instance and S3 bucket so each of this resource it's a separate group so let's let's create parameter groups first okay now we will need to label create the label and for the first parameter group we will use uh, label default and default it's actually the name of uh, of the group so default and the name will be uh, for example aws ec2 configuration okay so let's let's think about this is the it's it's not like the default right it's kind of name of our first group okay uh let's create another one label again default which is name um 
AWS bucket. Okay, we have two labels, we have two groups. Uh, so good so far, but inside of each group we have a parameters. So let's let's put additional uh, section here as a parameters. Parameters and uh, let's name it like instance type. Okay, this is our parameter which belongs to EC2 instance, right? And on S3 bucket, we will use parameters and parameters will be S3 name. Okay, so and immediately as you can see, uh, we have the notification like okay we know we expect some value in parameters because we already specified there okay yeah for sure let's do this so uh let's create first first parameter and of course obviously it will be instance type right and uh, parameters has uh, the type which is string and the um, parameter has default for example value which is will be two to micro micro and we also would like to give it choice right so between a couple of um, variants of uh, ec2 instance so let's uh, let's do this let's um, use allowed values and we will type e2 nano and e2 micro okay so and of course we can add some description description like um please choose Please pick the EC2 type. Okay. So now let's create another parameter which is uh, S3 name. Okay. And of course, type will be string. And, um, and that's it. Let's. Um, let's put some default name i don't know cloud action test sorry okay okay good so um so good so far let's see what we can do okay we have parameters now we need to put something in resources right because this is just the parameters and this is metadata about our parameters okay now we need to create some resource let's create um ec2 instance and let's say name it cloud in action server whatever so let's remove um uh not necessary policy uh, i mean sections instance type monitoring we don't need security group text we don't need all this we just need image id which i already have it will be this one but uh on next tutorial i i will show you how we can take this uh latest version of image id so an instance type it will be a reference we will have another video with uh, embedded functions for cloud formation later on so right now it we we are telling like okay we want to refer to the um, to the instance type in our parameter so instance type one we'll put it here so this instance type for cloud in action server will take whatever the values we have here 
Okay. Um, and of course, we can use another resource. And you can see right now it's showing me uh, again cloud formation link showing me that that parameter never used. Okay, so we have a parameter, but we don't have a resource which is using that parameter. Okay, so let's let's edit. Let's type S3 bucket again. We don't need all these things. We just need to have um, the bucket name. So let's remove that, that, and again we do the reference to S3 name. Name. Let's save it. And uh, here we go. Something here. Invalid for parameter groups. sorry parameter groups you see how it's important to use uh, this cloud formation lint because otherwise I would deploy the uh, template I will hope that everything will work fine but during the deployment the validation uh, will didn't pass so I will get there so now I see that my template is completely clean no errors no warning so we are good to go let's jump to the console and let's start to deploy it okay so let's create the stack okay let's uh, upload the file so it will be yaml file click next and as you can see this is the metadata which which i was talking about so we have two sections we have EC2 configuration and we have AWS S3 bucket. And we also have a description like, please pick the EC2 instance. This is the li uh, list of the instance which we allow to choose, right? This is S3 bucket uh, group and this is our parameter S3 name and this is the default value. So if we go back to the code, right? Again, this is our S3 bucket. And uh, this is our EC2 configuration. And as you can see in that parameter, we have description, please pick up the EC2 instance type. In S3, bug, uh, in S3 parameter, we don't have this description. So due to that, there's nothing here, okay? Let me quickly add something. Hold on a sec. Let me quickly add some description. Um, like give some unique name because S3 bucket should be unique, right? So let's save it. Let's save it. Let's go on the previous screen. Let's choose the file. Again, next, yes, give some unique name, you see. So that's it. Actually, I'm not going to deploy this one, but uh, the, the main point of that video was uh, that you can use a lot of groups inside of your cloud formation template. And actually, it's very like um, convenient for the people who will deploy that uh, cloud formation stack when when they have a section that when they have description when they for example to avoid some type type or they can use uh, the list of the predefined values um yeah so on next video i will show you a couple of another techniques how you can for example use internal um, cloud formation um, variables and the list of the variables like for example you want to deploy on VPC on your current VPC or you want to deploy on some other VPCs or maybe in another subnets which you have the access so yeah all the things will be in 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 next step in next videos so um, that's it for now uh, thank you for watching and let me know please in comments uh, if you want to know something else and I will definitely
read it and i will create the content for you okay thank you guys bye